Hey y'all, and welcome back to Music Monday. Um, this is your host, Top Dot. Today, I'm talking about the importance of being an independent artist and just being an indie, period. Um, being an indie artist allows you to control your own tempo, your own flow, your own sound. Everything about you will be your own. Not saying you can be selfish with it, but when you own your own, you don't have to worry about other people with their hands in your pocket. Because that's what most of these <coughs> businesses and labels do to these artists. They get these vulnerable and gullible artists. And they go ahead and tell them, sell them a dream, tell them whatever they want to hear. And next thing you know, they in their pocket for almost life. You know what I mean? Um, you see most of the industry artists that didn't make it too big still owe they, they music companies a lot of money. Because they spent a lot of money on them trying to... You know what I'm saying? Produce them and all of this said stuff, and while tacking on a crazy price tag along with it. But that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, and now you gotta pay this man for the rest of your life, even if you're getting your own money. So, my little advice to all my little folks that's coming up trying to rap and do this music thing come off independent, man. Y'all get you a team. Get you a whole legion of people that you can be around and you trust enough and you go ahead and you make that money. Like the artist currency. Um he right now he has a nice little little independent move going on and um and things of that nature. Um I've heard some disputes about Chance the Rapper being independent, but you can take him for uh instance as well if he's truly independent. You can look at that and say, Oh, okay that's how you do it but i'm not trying to hate on the major record labels because i don't know you might be able to get one of them to do good you know like drake did with whomever he, he rocking with or you know other big artists like um the dream and the weekend or not even r&br just like rappers as well like i see who, who been doing good for a minute snoop you know, somebody like Snoop, who, you know, who basically switched labels a few times, you know what I'm saying, due to trouble. And now he went from being industry to being independent, but still industry at the same time, because he still has the hookups, but he has his own label and he has his own flow of everything. So now he is his own boss. So that's what I would say. Take Snoop Dogg Blueprint and learn a little something off that, because Snoop, did it the way that you should be doing it um you should go ahead and get up out here try to get you your name up so as you get your name up you're gonna go through bumps and bruises if you can hold on through the bumps and bruises and something will manifest for you and you'll be looking at a nice little gold pot in front of your face um also the importance of being independent is you don't have to cater to certain aspects of music if you don't want to you don't have to do acid rap you don't have to do punk rock you ain't gotta do none of that stuff you know you could just be whatever genre and niche that you are like if you a neo soul guy stay neo soul don't try to if you get on the record label they most definitely gonna try to switch your sound up to sound more modern <clears throat> or excuse me their type of modern when I mean, you could really just add your own type of modern because why? You know what I'm saying? Your modern is different from their modern. They modern is, yo, bottom line, you just appease all of these these tweens and you appease all of the, the younger adults. Forget the older people and forget the people that's too young. You just get the center. We want you to wreck the center. And so they aim you straight at the center, you know. A lot of people like a lot of different style or a lot of younger crowd like a lot of different style of music nowadays. So you have to deal with that in the aspect and they want you to cater to that but being independent you can say hmm, okay I do it because I want to do it or <clears throat> my fault you say I do it because I feel like doing it you know something like that and you can go ahead and make your set your own price set your own date let your own stipulations be known and then you can go ahead and rip that boy down when it, when it come time to so and all that money goes to you, you know. So being independent is just having your own musical freedom. 
and not being chained up by a powerhouse of people that's basically trying to train you up to be a gimmick and have you out here looking like Mr. Bojangles, you know what I'm saying? But on top of that, being independent also can help you net, you know what I'm saying, a lot of money. It can get you a lot of currency and you get your own currency. Once you get your own currency, you can become your own entity. And that's what the other entities don't want. They don't want these little bitty folks coming out here and then popping up to be mega corporations because that's taken away from what they did and what they're doing. So throwing a monkey wrench in the machine's plan is basically becoming one of those machines. So that's basically how it is when it comes to the, the war back between independent and label artists you know what I'm saying because you see a lot of label artists we ain't even heard of yet it's a lot of independent artists that's coming out now and letting their voice be heard and now in the day and age of YouTube Instagram Snapchat um, Discord and all these other types of services where you can basically be shown Vivo and stuff like that now people can get their they music out by their own rights on these different platforms on their own accord and make their own money it's like you can hit soundcloud up you can hit reverb nation up you can hit uh it's other music uh sites you got uh, spotify you can hit up apple music i guess you know and all of that you can do certain things to basically get your name out there so being an independent artist can allow you to do that because while you're working behind the machine you can't see the rest of of the atmosphere in the horizon now so you basically gotta wipe the you know what i'm saying get out of the machinery go ahead and step outside for a minute and see what else is out there because it's it's something and it be banging y'all i'm telling y'all me when i was first trying to do the rap thing i was thinking about trying to be signed then you know me and my my people we decided yo instead of trying to be signed everybody why don't we just start our own movement get that bumping and then the big artists and the um, the big labels are coming to us and be asking us, yo, what's good? Can we get a piece of what y'all doing or can y'all go ahead and, and mix y'all formula with our formula so we can make another nice formula, you know what I'm saying? Something new for the for the city and for the states and for the world if they if need be, you know, something like that. Um and if, so we decided to do that and basically we didn't blow up I and mean, we want mega people, so we just took our musical talents and just broke that down into to real life things basically like starting a a talent agency is what me and my bros trying to do right now we trying to start the talent agency where we find people so we can go ahead and give y'all the knowledge that we got and the inside links that we know in the industry to help you know get you out there and help make a little money and we'd be the people that guide you because we can hook you up with said people because we know a lot of people i got a lot of family a lot of friends got a lot of hookups so i can spread people around a little bit you know what i'm saying and i can still do my thing a little bit so i can help along just for now you know what i'm saying once i get up in the 50s and 60s and all that i won't be trying to rap with folks but i still will matter of fact i'm gonna be one of them but just basically being indie slash basically independent being independent is just overall more calming more relaxing to the mind and body it's better on the pockets and it's also just a better choice when it comes to you want to express yourself how you want to express yourself because behind the machine you cannot express yourself how you want to express yourself you're going to express yourself how they see fit for you to express yourself so get on that independent mind state and say we finna do this you know what I'm saying? We gonna do that. Um, if y'all wanna come along with us and do something with us, cool. If not, cool. We doing this right now. You know, put your foot down when it comes to your talent. You know, so the importance of being independent is the importance of freedom. It's just you need it, you want it, you got it. Keep a hold of it. Cause if you let it go, the powers that be, they gonna grab that thing up, and the next thing you know, you gonna see yourself behind a glass mirror while everybody else out there having fun on outside playing and kicking it because they didn't 
did their thing, went through their dues, and did what they needed to do. And now they out there, and you allowed yourself to get hooked up to that machinery, and you can't wiggle your way out. Just know, you had a chance to of being independent, man. And then, with that being said, y'all, I want to thank you once again for tuning in to Music Mondays. This has been episode three. I'm your host, Top Dot. Y'all keep that in mind. Together we are shine. <laughs> we out. Till next Monday.